Міністерство горожанства, імміграції та багатокультурності Канади цього тижня влаштувало свято вручення другої нагороди багатокультурності в імені сенатора Павла Юзика. Welcome to the presentation of the 2010 Paul Yuzik Award for Multiculturalism. Міністерство горожанства, імміграції та багатокультурності Канади минулого року встановило нову нагороду багатокультурності в імені сенатора Павла Юзика. Перший нагороджений цим признанням був меценат Іван Яремко. І сьогодні ми на святі вручення другої щорічної нагороди. The Award in Excellence for Multiculturalism is named after a proud Canadian of Ukrainian origin, Paul Yudsik, who was known as the father of multiculturalism. It is no accident that the father of Canada's idea of multiculturalism uh, came from uh, the Ukrainian community. It's a community uh, that uh, arrived in Canada early in the last century uh, in a Canada that was still very much characterized by the bicultural, binational idea, uh, but it's a community that was more determined than perhaps any other during the first half of the 20th century to maintain its unique identity uh, because of its, its, the difficult history of Ukraine and particularly the period of communist oppression. Uh, they've set an example for other immigrant uh, and ethnocultural communities about keeping, uh, about being faithful to their roots, to their faith, uh, about enjoying, about uh, fully taking advantage of Canada's freedom uh, and embracing Canadian identity, respect for other people of other backgrounds, uh, but also maintaining fidelity to their own roots. And it was that inspiration which led, I believe, uh, to Paul Yudsik uh, really creating the concept of, of multiculturalism. He was a Manitoba scholar, a community activist, and later a senator appointed by Prime Minister John Diefenbaker. He was a key figure in telling the story of Canadians of Ukrainian origin and in encouraging Canadians to learn about all the cultures that make up the country. As Senator Yudsik once noted, Quotes, I said to myself that if they called me a foreigner when I was born in Canada, it meant Canada needed some changing. He argued that seeing Canada's history as being based on two founding nations ignored the stories of those Canadians who, like himself, had neither British nor French ancestry. And while he praised the institutions and heritage of our British and French founders, as well as the achievements of Aboriginal peoples, Senator Yudsik was the first to insist that Canada was more than just a bilingual and bicultural nation. In 1963, he argued for a broader vision of, of the country and laid out his view on multiculturalism. He demonstrated his commitment to this vision as director of the Canadian Council of Christians and Jews and as chair of the Canadian Folk Arts Council. His vision of a unified, integrated, but diverse Canada was one which generations of Canadians have embraced. Uh, and his legacy is reflected in the findings of a recent historic Dominion Institute survey of the global community's perceptions of Canada and Canadians. Цьогорічну нагороду багатокультурності імені сенатора Павла Юзика вручається синові втікачів в'єтнамської війни із комунізмом. The government created the Paul Yudsik Award last year in order to recognize exceptional groups and individuals who have demonstrated excellence in promoting the multiculturalism and diversity which characterize our society and are a source of pride for Canadians. Mr. Wynne uses the power of the internet to promote unity and diversity among Canadians of various backgrounds. He is perhaps best known for creating the inspirational website janefinch.com, an online portal that has become a helpful means of expression for youth and other residents in the community. Through filmmaking and social media, he has spoken out on topics such as youth crime and gang violence, and he has cultivated civic engagement among young people. I ask you to join us in congratulating Mr. Paul Nguyen on being this year's recipient of the Paul Yudzik Award for Multiculturalism. Thank you very much. I never had the fortune of meeting Mr. Yudzik. But upon researching his past, I can only hope to be worthy of this award in his name. Multiculturalism is a defining aspect of Canadian life. 
multiculturalism has allowed me to experience a rich and diverse upbringing for which I am thankful. I can proudly say that I have friends from a rainbow of colors and backgrounds. Although racial discrimination still exists in today's society, it can be eliminated simply by learning about each other. Being naturally shy, I was attracted to the internet as an outlet to connect with other people. I was fortunate enough to use social media to share multicultural truths by documenting everyday Canadians and their unique stories. Technology and the capacity to reach a massive audience is at everyone's fingertips. Після вручення нагороди всім показано документальний фільм про працю Павла Нгуїна. Behind the scenes of JaneFinch.com there is a man, Paul Union, who truly believes that there is more to say about his community than the usual stories of violence highlighted in the media. It is one of the most stigmatized neighborhoods in Canada. Bad rap or not, the area is often associated with poor housing, poverty and crime. Paul's website was meant to shed some positive light on this neighborhood. Even though it's so diverse, but there's a common thread and everyone has a similar story. They're coming from humble groups, they either war torn countries or they experience that underdog story element. So I mean that's how a lot of people they band together because I mean they can relate to each other that way, that they know that they they're struggling here and they want to make a better life for themselves and for the future generations. As a man of action, Paul wanted to show the world that positive stories can bring down barriers and inspire others to seek out new opportunities. Після свята міністр горожанства і міграції і багатокультурності Джейсон Кенні розказав нам про процес вирішування, кому надається цю нагороду кожного року. There are open nominations that people can make to our ministry by sending them in or online. We, re we received 88 uh, nominations for this award this year. Uh, last and, and uh, of those nominations, there was a selection committee made up of, of um, officials in the ministry with some external advisors. Uh, they made three recommendations to me and I, I made the final selection based on um, what I thought were uh, the, uh, Mr. Wynn meeting, the, meeting the, te the criteria of someone who's really building bridges between communities and doing it in, in a unique way that engages youth, which is very important. Last year we chose, of course, uh, John Yaremko, who was uh, the, the really, uh, who's a friend of Paul Yutzik's, but was most importantly responsible for uh, the, uh, refu the rescue of uh, 50,000 Hungarian refugees from the Soviet invasion of Budapest in 1956, and who was an important figure in the development of Canadian multiculturalism. So we went from the older generation to the new generation. We went from uh, Canadian of Ukrainian origin to, uh, to a Canadian of Vietnamese origin. They both have something in common, though. They both fled uh, communist uh, to, um, oppression in their respective countries. They both came to Canada seeking freedom and they are both they both tried to create opportunity for other people. Серед присутніх на цьому святі донька сенатора Юзика Вікторія Юзик Карп'як. The whole family is very proud about this. Um, as the members of the Ukrainian community know, dad worked very very hard and gave up all of the hours, his waking hours for the Ukrainian community for sure. So I think this is a befitting recognition that came with the Conservative government and uh, we're proud to see that it's being continued. And uh, obviously the recipient today is very worthy uh, of, of this, uh, of this uh, nomination and award. На урочисте свято із Отави прибув посол України в Канаді доктор Ігор Осташ. Ви знаєте, я перш за все гордий з того, що ми маємо так багато видатних українців саме у Канаді. Звичайно, ми згадуємо і про генерал-губернатора Ганатишина, про багатьох сенаторів, видатних депутатів, мерів, лейтенант-губернаторів. І це блискуча плеяда українців, тому що всі вони були українцями. Я гордий з того, що Павло Юзик практично завжди признавався, що він українець, і він написав дуже багато цікавих книжок саме про українців в Канаді. І уявіть собі, що його творіння, а фактично це вже понад 45 років, дійсно сьогодні є чудовим зразком того, як треба будувати державу. І знаєте, що мене особливо турбує в цій ситуації? Я хотів би, щоб українці в Україні знали, що є така історична постать в Канаді, яка належить до, я би сказав, найблискучіших канадських політиків, і що дійсно ми можемо зарахувати цю людину до пантеону великих українців і гордитися тим, що у нас є прекрасні, славні політики по цілому світі, починаючи від Австралії і завершуючи Канадою. Тому, як на мене, особливо для молодих українців, це буде ще один 
справедливы для того, чтобы гордиться того, что они украинцами, и действительно сделать так, чтобы украинцы в Украине знали, что не только Украина народжує великих сынов Украины, но также мы имеем очень много славных украинцев споза меж Украины, но которые всегда признавали, что они є украинцы. Пані Вікторія Юзик пам'ятає, как тяжко працював ее тато, и сегодня видит надзвичайные результаты этих усилий. Парламентарный господар вечера и ответственный за округу Миссисага Эрендейл вважает, что очень здоровым явищем, что Канада в такий спосіб відзначає різноманітні походження канадців. Today is a very important day. Multiculturalism is is one of the essential things that makes uh, Canada a country that stands out amongst all the other countries in the world. You know, there are very few countries on this planet that embrace people from all over the world and encourage them to continue with their with their culture and 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 their uh, ethnicity and blend in and offer all of these things to the other people of the country. It's one of the things that makes Canada unique in the world, so it's very important that we celebrate it, and that's why I'm really pleased to be here. It truly reflects the multicultural nature of Canada. For sure, as you look around the room, um, every ethnocultural group has been represented here, and the dignitaries came out in full force. Uh, we're happy to see that uh, Ambassador Ostash took time from his busy schedule, and he came down from Ottawa. Uh, a lot of the ministers and a lot of the uh, provincial uh, administrative staff and the government also are here along with the federal ministers so uh, very well attended and obviously a big focus uh, in um, uh, in the direction that we need things to be going in